hey, give us your money so you can let it sit on a shelf, but we're not letting it sit on a shelf. We're going and using it to create cash flow and create income and create profits from your money while you're sitting fat and happy thinking you're doing just fine watching your, your bachelor again, thinking, hey, I'm good because I just made, you know, two bucks this month in interest on my huge savings account. Yeah, yeah that's it's, it's a false feeling of safety that they've created for people. That's right. You work a little bit differently on the banking side of things where, and, and I, I love this strategy where you can be the, your own bank. So let, we'll, we'll, you know, kind of backstep to Dave Ramsey. He is really good for the masses. Like you said, uh, when you're leveraging stuff that you want instead of leveraging stuff that makes you money, which is not really, um, going into debt at that point, it's, turns into an asset. Uh, but most people get loans on stuff they want, not stuff that makes them money. Yeah, so right. talk about the infinite banking a little bit for us, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'll just a couple of things. Cause you mentioned obviously debt, you know, what do I think about debt there? And overall, I love cheap bank money. You know, like mm -hmm. I love utilizing that, especially if it's using to purchase more assets. Right. That's the thing, especially if it's cash flowing assets that more than pay my payment on that debt. Uh, it's mm -hmm. funny because I get, you know, I've worked with a lot of business owners and, and, and when you look at the common sense, they get it, they get it completely. Cause if you're thinking of from a business mode, you're saying, Hey, I got my SBA loan. I got from the bank, whatever it is um, to start up my business. Your hope is that whatever you put that money into in your business is going to come back to pay at least that payment and keep you profitable. Right. Sure. Mm -hmm. So it makes perfect sense from a business standpoint, but oh my goodness, from a personal standpoint, you know, you get debt, that's bad, you know, but from a business, I remember my first SBA loan was $25,000. The minimum monthly payment was about 130 bucks a month. Now, if I'm in business and I can't turn 25 grand into 130 bucks a month, I shouldn't be in business, right? <laughs> I, I'm a complete failure in that yeah. case, but obviously I want to maybe make it at least thousand dollars a month hopefully with that 25 yeah. grand, if not a couple thousand or more a month, that's exactly how you should look at it from a personal standpoint too. If you leverage loans and debt is, can I create that arbitrage? You know, that difference between what I have to pay and what I'm actually earning, just like the bank does with us when they borrow money from us, you know, at a certain rate and then turn around and, and loan it back to us mm -hmm. again, as car loans, home loans and everything else, credit cards or whatever it might be. Yeah, and you look at it that way, it's debt's kind of crazy because you never hear a bank call you up saying, I need to pay off my debt to you because the debt that you have to the bank, the bank's debt is the savings account. Right. So have you ever had a bank call you up said, Hey, you know, Mr. Bill, you know, Mr. Fairman, you've, you've been with us for the last 40 years. You've been such a great customer, but you know what? We've been watching the Dave Ramsey show recently and <laughs> man, got to tell you, debt is bad. You know, we got to get out of debt. Cash is king. So we're going to pay off your savings account. We're going to cash you out because we don't want to be in debt to you anymore because we don't like paying that interest. Because have you seen what that interest costs over time when it compounds? It's like 300 bucks out of that 100,000 you put in there over 500 <laughs> years. You, know? <laughs> you, you never hear a bank call you up to do that. They're, they're more than glad to take your money and they want you to keep putting it in. In fact, they're part of that conspiracy. You know, it's really a very open conspiracy of, hey, give us your money so you can let it sit on a shelf, but we're not letting it sit on a shelf. We're going and using it to create cash flow and create income and create profits from your money while you're sitting fat and happy thinking you're doing just fine watching your, your bachelor again, thinking, Hey, I'm good because I just made, you know, two bucks this month in interest on my huge savings account. Yeah. It's, that's it's a false feeling of safety that they've created for people. That's right. <laughs>